Good morning. Honorable Karu Jayasuriya, Speaker of the Parliament, Sri Lanka. Honorable Patali Champika Ranawaka, Minister of Metropolis and Western Development, Sri Lanka. Honorable Ajit Manaperuma, State Minister of Mahaweli Development and Environment, Sri Lanka. Excellencies, guests, colleagues, partners, ladies and gentlemen. It is such a great honor for me to be here in beautiful Colombo. I'm very much inspired and appreciative of the leadership that the Sri Lankan government, particularly His Excellency President Maitipatra Sirisena, have shown in spearheading the campaign to tackle the world's nitrogen problem. We were also honored at the United Nations to have His Excellency President attended the UN Environment Assembly in Nairobi this past March, a strong indication of your country's commitment to multilateralism for the environment, and we thank you for that. The world faces so many environmental crises. Climate change is rapidly hitting the planet. The last five summers have, see, have seen the hottest have been the hottest on the record, triggering supercharged hurricanes, deadly heat waves, and wildfires so big they create their own weather systems. Air pollution, mainly from burning fossil fuels, kills 7 million people prematurely every year. And land degradation is harming the well being of two fifths of humankind while destroying biodiversity at unprecedented levels. To add to this list, I would like to discuss another major threat, nitrogen. The bad news is that the nitrogen problem has so far received little, if any, attention outside the scientific circles. The good news is that in addressing nitrogen, issues, we can significantly roll back the damage from the three challenges I have just touched upon. Climate change, air pollution, and land degradation. It would also lead to 100 billion US dollars in savings and foster innovation in sectors like farming, energy, and transport. To achieve this target, we will need to improve the performance of synthetic nitrogen fertilizers increase the use of organic fertilizers and boost the recycling of nutrients from agriculture. Reducing consumption of meat and dairy and dramatically cutting the amount of food waste would also lower the nitrogen needs of the agriculture sector. Policymakers will need to begin by discussing which approaches are the most agile, efficient, and cost-effective. They will need to work together to build a coherent policy framework that addresses every stage of the nitrogen cycle. And they will need to draw upon legislation that addresses the transboundary impacts of reactive nitrogen. But we cannot begin the conversation about solutions unless someone starts talking. That's why we are here today. We are here because we believe that it is critical to raise the alarm about one of the most hidden environmental catastrophes of our time. We must pull back the curtain and move the world to action. Today marks the start of that journey. And as we embark on it, we must remember, we must remember what kind of world we are fighting for. A world with clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. A world where climate change no longer poses an existential threat. Where life in our oceans is no longer starved of oxygen. This is the world we want and it is the world our children deserve and expect from us. Thank you.